Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys and girls, my bad, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been trying to get the videos back on here as fast as possible. I know they aren't on my regular schedule, but I've been trying to get back to the regular pace that I used to have before my YouTube absence. It's getting there. It should be back there. My video should be back on schedule within two to three weeks. It's just been hard for the past couple of weeks, but it is what it is. Um, my raw review probably gonna be on to Tuesday, early Tuesday morning, or that afternoon. Cause now raw is three hours long, so I don't know how that's gonna be. Cause raw. I did a video on why Raw being three hours is good or bad or not. It's on my channel. Probably like two months ago, but you can check it out. I mean, I like wrestling and everything. But I don't know. Maybe two and a half hours would have been good. Because sometimes when Raw ends, like at 11.05 or 11.10, you say, oh, I wish they would have had another 20 minutes. So we could have saw what would happen. Now... For an extra hour, I don't know because then they have to find. I think we would have been good with two and a half hours, but the extra half an hour, what are they going to do to fill that slot? Because that means that more SmackDown superstars are going to be on Raw, and since they're going to be used more, they can probably be getting injured more, which means more superstars are going to be out of action. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. We we're going to see. I did a review on last Monday Night Raw, so if you missed that, you have to check it out. It was a, it was a good show. I gave it a, like 20 out of 10. It was awesome. I wish Stone Cold could have been there. That would have been the icing on a cake right there. But it is what it is. I mean, I don't know because I just hope that that first three-hour show was good. I just hope that they don't go downhill from there. Because that first three hour show was good, but that was because we had The Undertaker, DX, The Rock, Brock Lesnar. They won't be there this week. So, what are they going to do since you don't have all the WWE legends and everybody on there? Like, I don't know. Like, the first show I was excited for, but this show I'm kind of nervous about because you don't have all those The Rock, you know, The Undertaker, and everybody on there, so. How can you, how are you going to balance that out? I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. But AJ is the new general manager for Raw. Which was a surprise to me. I don't know, like, why they keep taking Divas out to the Divas division. The Divas division is already small as it is. They took Eve out and gave her, like, what she was Lord Knight's assistant. And now they take in... AJ out and she's becoming a raw general manager. Who knows how long that will last? It would have been nice if Teddy Long could have been raw general manager or Edge or Vicky. But AJ, I don't know. We're gonna see how it plays out. But we all know that AJ and Dane Bryan didn't get married uh, last Friday. I mean, last Monday. So I can, it's going to be a continuation of that. The aftermath is going to be on this Raw. Since AJ is in the new general Raw general manager, I can guarantee Darren Grind is going to be on Raw trying to use e AJ any way that he can to better himself. Basically, he's going to try to use her again. And I think there's going to be something else coming up between CM Punk, AJ, Kane, and Darren Grind. I think something else. I don't think this is the end of the four-way love triangle that was going on for like three months. I don't think it's the end of it. So I think AJ, there's definitely going to be a segment with AJ and Dane Bryan. I know that. That's not even, you're going to have to even predict that. That's going to happen. John Cena lost. Well, he didn't technically lose. Well, what would you say? The match ended in...
Yeah, he did lose. The big show cost him the match. So he cashed in a briefcase and he didn't win. The big show has just been on the rampage the past couple of weeks. I don't even know what WWE wants to do with the big show. They just let him go there and they just knock people out. And he just leaves like nothing happens. There's definitely going to be a segment between John Cena and the big show. It would be nice to see them in a match. That would be great to see John Cena versus the big show. And then also, you know you're going to see him Punk is going to come out. Because last week he did the GTS go to sleep on a rock. And I predicted that he will face The Rock January 2013, the Royal Rumble. He will face The Rock at the Royal Rumble. John Cena had his chance to face The Rock at WrestleMania. And CM Punk will face The Rock at the Royal Rumble. That's my predictions. So CM Punk is going to come out and talk about that. Because you know CM Punk likes to come out and talk. So of course he's going to come out and talk about how he knocked The Rock out. So we had the, the segment with AJ and Dame Bryan, just sh sh going over my predictions. John Cena and Big Show are going to have a segment. Oh, John Cena and Big Show are going to have a segment. CM Punk is going to come out and talk about how he knocked out The Rock. Sin Cara will definitely be on Raw. He wasn't on SmackDown. Sin Cara will definitely be there. Rey Mysterio will definitely be there. It'd be nice to see them tag team against the tag team um together or go against each other. That would be a good match. Um we may see some divas. We haven't seen a diva action in a while. So there may be some divas. And I don't know how they're gonna fill the three hours up. I really don't because you don't have the rock, you don't have DX. I don't know how they wanna do that. That's probably gonna be a battle royal. Maybe a battle royal. Sheamus is going to be there, of course. Brodus Clay is going to be there. What is Heath Slater going to do? Because for the past week he's been battling WWE Legends, but the Dallas episode already came out. So what is Heath Slater going to do? Santino will probably be there. Um, I don't know. I don't think... Too much is going to really happen. I really don't. I know Kofi and R Truth are going to be there. They probably go against Prime Time. It may be a tag team match for the belts. I don't can't see too much happening. Like I'm trying to predict what's going to happen, but I don't know. I don't know what's. I, I don't know. Like. This is all I know. The whole show is going to be based on AJ being a Raw General Manager. So you're going to see AJ come out a couple of times. And Dane Bryan is going to try to get back for her. John Cena is going to be coming after the big show because he cost it a match last week. CM Punk is going to come out and talk about how he knocked the rock out. There's going to be some tag team action. Maybe some diva action. A battle royal. Sin Cara Rey Mysterio is going to be there. Ryback. It's going to be there. The Miz is going to be there. That's pretty much it. But I don't think that this three hour Raw is going to be better than last week's Raw. I really don't. Unless Triple H magically shows up. I don't know. I don't think this Raw is going to be as good as the last week's. It's going to be good, but it's not going to be good as last week's. I probably end up giving. I don't, my prediction, my early predictions for my raw review, I'll probably give this week's raw probably like an 8.5 out of 10. I haven't seen raw yet, but I just don't think it's going to be as good as last week's because a DX and Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, everybody not being there, I don't think it's going to be as good as last week's was. But the whole show is going to be focused on AJ being general manager and John Cena coming after the big show. And everything else is going to revolve around that. And CM Punk is going to come out and talk about how he took out The Rock. The whole show is going to be about that. They're going to throw a match just in between that. But that's basically what the whole show is going to be about. So these are my raw predictions. Let's see if they come true. Um, like I said, my raw review will be up Tuesday. I already did a SmackDown review. You have to check that out. I already did a TNA review. 
you have to check that out so just check out my channel if you ever miss any raw smackdown teenage city stars if you ever miss this show check out my channel if you like this video you can like it if you dislike the video you can dislike it uh, leave your comments you will get a response within 24 hours um, check out my channel and just make sure you subscribe and have fun I mean everything's on my channel so you, you have to go